I was looking for suitable employment for my nephew, Joseph Poilievre, who had been entrusted to me by my dying sister. When I remember reading a newspaper article about the northwest region of Canada, I studied the possibilities for months and then I convinced my nephew that this was the best direction to follow. I encourage other young people from the rural area in France to homestead in Canada as well. And off they went. I couldn't get Canada out of my mind. I had an idea. You're sending others to Canada. Why don't you go yourself? Those new settlers will also need a priest. I was 42 years old. It was foolish to even think of it. My health was poor. My family and my bishop were against my going. But I couldn't get rid of the idea. I had to go. As the parish grew, so did the town, and the farm in the surrounding area struggled and survived through the depression and through long, harsh winters. Those were wonderful times strolling in the wide open prairie. What a difference this magnificent solitude was compared to the noise and turmoil of the city I left behind. He lived 50 years in this country, and all those who told him that it couldn't be done because he was in poor health, he buried long before. So he survived them all. In the church, we refer it as a calling, a vocation. Words can't explain it. You just have to trust and follow. And so I did. Come to Pardon. Fulfill my duties as a Canadian 